the Pokemon crossover you never expected. Mario. Gold and silver. Now where is Mario Crystal? Hello, everyone here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the previous episode, we conquered the Seaside Kingdom. And in today's episode, we'll be doing the same exact thing, but in Luncheon Kingdom form. So, as per usual, we'll be starting off our adventures in the post-game magical land by taking care of all the power moons that become available after you defeat Bowser, and then we'll take care of the ones that open up with the moon rock. So, the first one that we'll be taking care of is going to be located on the toppy tip of these buildings. So, we want to do, we're going to go, ah, that is off the building. I want to be on the toppy tip, not the bottom, uh, whatever. <laughs> the flame's gone now, it's a sad day, I tell you. Oh no, whatever we gonna do. That is two failed jumps in a row. That has got to be, I would say that would be a record, but honestly, knowing my track record of three to Mario games, especially on the collab channel, that probably shouldn't be a surprise. So, without further ado, the next thing we want to take care of is going to be located over- WHY DO I KEEP RUNNING INTO EVERY LITTLE molecule IN THE STUPID KINGDOM? LET ME DO FANCY PLATFORMING STUFF! LET ME BE FANCY FOR ONCE! FINE GAME, I'LL TAKE THE HINT! I WON'T DO ANYTHING FANCY FOR THE REST OF MY LIFE! Alright, so what I was trying to do was that there is a fire bro over there and this is going to be your best friend forever. He's going to, you know, he's going to go to your birthday party. He's going to go to Universal Studios with you. He'll buy you chocolates. And sometimes, sometimes, he'll even let you eat the chocolate. Now, this guy wants him to go away, but you know what? You know what? He just needs a friend. Or, we can burn him! Whee! <laughs> Hello! I'm traveling all over in search of all different kinds of music! I wonder if you might know some music that fits a certain theme. The theme is, wait for it, I've become a monster! I feel like a monster. <laughs> so... Toad, Jamming Toad, you and I, you know, I feel like we could be friends if you made the effort, but we just haven't quite clicked with our music tastes, so I know you're probably not going to be fond of it, but just hear me out on this one. Just, just take a listen. That's piano! I said piano! Yes, this is it! This is the music I want to hear! Thank you! Here, this is for you! Now, this one's pretty interesting because there's actually four songs that'll work uh, for this one. It would... Oh, we got new music! Oh, we got new music, yeah! We only missing two now? Wow. That's gonna be pretty epic and awesome indeed. So, yeah, that Gem and Toad, four songs will work for them. So, Fossil Fools, Dinosaur is uh, one that I use. You can also use Honey Ridge Collapse, the 8 bit version of that song, as well as Honey Loon Ridge Escape. So, yeah. I don't remember those name. I don't remember those songs off the top of my head, but now that I'm looking at the list and remembering where they are in the game, now I'm sad that I didn't pick those ones because those songs are awesome too. Still firm and a faulty, still firm and a faulty. Stuck in harsh critic mode. Repairs will require a mechanic. Sense of detect, you are 0.00% mechanic. Mechanic required. I mean, Mario's made of metal right now, so that should qualify for a mechanic degree. Real talk, I have a lot of respect for mechanics because, like, especially car mechanics, because uh, you have people going in there all the time. Making him just the random, most random sound effects ever for a car. So, like, you have a, somebody go inside and their car is messed up and they're like, <laughs> and then they just magically know that that wasn't a car sound. That was, 
That was a dialed-up tune for old computers trying to connect to the internet. I am so old! Oh my god. Okay, so the outfit that we want is the mechanic outfit. Now, look at the background carefully when we go back and forth between these things. It didn't appear right there, but let's go back to the menu real quick. Because if you back out, <laughs> you can see for like a split second that everything in the background is just like a low poly model right before it actually loads everything in. Which begs the question, why do they even have a low poly model in there in the beginning with? Because you're only ever going to see those things up close, so what's the point? <laughs> I don't know. That one I find a little bit unusual, but it's not that big of a problem. But yeah, as you saw on screen a moment ago, we have a bunch of outfits now. I've been playing a lot of Luigi's Balloon World lately, trying to get the last of the ranks for that one. I only have one rank left, and it's going to take forever to get it. So, you better appreciate the fact that I've been, like, grinding that for hours, trying to get it before the end of the last play. It's too formally faulty! It's too formally faulty! Since the detect a mechanic! This unit is stuck in a loop due to suboptimal steel! No, now sensing critical state ending. This is some normal computing gratitude. It adds up to this result. Yeah, we got confetti and a chocolate gusher or blueberry gusher. I don't know, blue, chocolate can't be blue. Oh man, I, I don't remember what brand of chocolate this was, but I'm just remembering this one chocolate bar that was like a raspberry chocolate. Like, Raspberry chocolate is a somewhat common flavor, but this specific chocolate bar, mmm, that was so good. I love chocolate. Take 5,003! The thing is, like, I think my sister, when she was playing through this game, just found this normally. Like, she just wanted to goof off and see if she could make it, and found this power moon. That was epic and stuff, but... Uh, Oh, we did it! Oh, it's such a beautiful sight. I'm just gonna soak into this deal for a moment. Mario actually looks kind of adorable like this, but hey, let's grab this stupid power moon and never do this ever again! Good, good. Ate much. Resting belly, then eat more. <laughs> I love those things. I know I've said it every time I see them on screen, but they're just so cute. They're the cutest thing that's ever cuted. I came totally near the friend, but he's gone off somewhere. He's with the food lover, so surely he's popped onto someone's head and taken all the flavors around here. Intriguing. You look suspicious. That was kind of a cool combo with the cap, with the can thing. Ah, oh, drat, you found me. I thought this fellow's head was a great hiding place. Really top drawer. Here, take this and leave me to my foodie dreams, would you? And now with all that taken care of, it's time to activate the moon rock.
Leap of faith! Rain of Power Moon! <laughs> that wasn't the one that I was aiming for, but yeah, well, we'll take care of that and talk to the roving racers. They do not appear to be stuck between two pipes. Of all the Wolverine racer races in this game, I think this one might be one of my favorites because... Uh, well, we're not off to a great start right now, but this one's a pretty fun one because uh, you get to climb up the volcano, and this is always one of my more personal favorites of the platforming challenges in this game. Or it would be if my jump would... My goodness, game! What is with the jump button right now?! This has been a big problem that I just can't get to the bottom of in this stupid Let's Play. And the only thing is, it was working just fine right before this. Because I was playing Luigi's Balloon World for a while, and it was working just fine. But then, at super inconvenient moments, it decides that it doesn't want to work. It's like, who are you to say whether you want to work or not, controller? I'm the boss around these parts. Alright. So we'll take care of that and go this way. Yay! If we had if we had 12 seconds to our counter at 64, just like Nintendo 64. Which, by the way, it's probably super obvious at this point, but I am determined to make this let's play end on episode 64. If everything goes well, hopefully that'll be the case, because that will be the best thing ever. Because major projects like this, I always try to make it so that. I always try to find a way to see if the Let's Play can end on episode 64, because that's my favorite number, and it just seems like a nice fitting number for longer games. So, hopefully it'll work out for this Let's Play. You will not believe how hard I'm working to try and make that happen. <laughs> that's kind of the big reason why a lot of these post-game worlds, like, yeah, they, the 30-minute episodes could probably be split into two, but you know what? It's fine. It's the post-game. And it's more convenient for viewers anyway to look up post-game moons in one love video rather than two. So yeah, that's a win moon for everybody except me who has to edit all this. So let's continue on over this way. And also a bit of a fun fact. So on the topic of the number 64, like I don't think I don't think we mentioned this yet, but my let's play notes for this let's play, this is a huge coincidence when I was planning everything, but my notes for this Let's Play are 64 pages long. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things about planning out this Let's Play, that just, that's just like a huge coincidence and I'm pretty happy it happened that way. So backtracking away from Perunza Plaza, we head off over in this direction. I believe somewhere in here should be two platforms. That should be correct. Yep. Yay, it's a glowy spot. And it's a shiny blue glowy spot from inside a bright stone. Oh, yeah. And the next one's going to be located over in this direction. So we're going to go over this way. And we're going to need to find a lava bubble. Because lava bubbles are going to be... Uh, our new science project, uh, they're our new science project partner. Uh, we are going to take over the world, and we're going to figure out how to do it in song form. That's what we're learning in science class today. Now, so there's a pyramid right there. <laughs> shiny! I like shiny! Shiny likes me. I believe it's gonna be near the cannon, so let's set up this way and see if this theory is correct. <gasps> this theory is correct! Shiny spot! A lot of the power moons in this kingdom seem to have shiny spots, but I'm okay with that because I like shiny. And believe it or not, that's all the power moons outside of moon pipes. So, yeah. Let's go inside this first one. There's going to be three of them in the Luncheon Kingdom. And the first one is going to be this beautiful level. So, yeah. Ooh, we get to see these things. All right. Oh, yeah. That makes me happy. All right. So, yeah. That does continue what I was talking about before. How the post-game moon pipes kind of, like, combine 
ideas we've seen from previous kingdoms. It's just so cool, because we saw those, um, whatever those things are called in the Snow Kingdom as well. But now it's in a Luncheon Kingdom setting. It's really cool. Uh, so what we want to do, let's lure you over this way and then jump as if our life depended on it, because Mario kind of does that a lot. You know, Mario, I'm sure, I'm sure you're living your best life, but honestly, you probably could look into some less self-destructive hobbies in your life. I mean, yeah, jumping around dangerous platforms might be fun and all, but, you know, you might want to consider, like, baking or... Or manslaughter. I mean, that could be a healthy pastime. Maybe not the manslaughter thing, but, you know, to, to each their own. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Let's go over this way and raise my son. I haven't said that in a very long time. <laughs> So there is one more fireplace that we haven't activated, and it's going to be over there. But however are we going to make it? Whatever are we going to do? How can we achieve such an impossible feat? We achieved the impossible feat! Yay! And now we're going to sacrifice the fire bro. This is the next moon pipe. Ooh, it's a 2D side scrolling segment. Uh, okay, I remember this one. This one gave me a little bit of a trouble on my first playthrough, and then the second playthrough, and then every subsequent playthrough after that. I don't remember what gave me trouble, but it's probably something not nice. It's gonna be the opposite of nice. It's gonna be rice. Owie! Oh, double owie! Triple owie equals death! You saw nothing. All right, so what I was trying to say a moment ago before I got rudely uninterrupted by being dead. So what you want to do, you want to be careful and not suck at video games because that's genuinely going to be a pretty good strategy all around. So what you want to do, you want to be careful and avoid the lava bubbles and activate these platforms whenever you can. So that's going to be a fun time all around. I don't remember what exactly gave me so much trouble. My earlier earlier playthroughs i think it just might be one of those things where it's not that difficult i'm just an idiot <laughs> that tends to happen a lot in platforming games where i try to be fancy when i jump around and it leads to more deaths than would otherwise all right go there uh, you do not want to ground pound on these things i remember that very very vividly the ground pounding on the cloud platforms will cause instantaneous uh, deceasedness. Instantaneous deceasedness is not something I recommend. I thought I had one more thing of hell. That that's exactly what I was. That's a, that's exactly that's a good example of what I was trying to say. Trying to be fancy in these platforming games always leads to me being dead. So I probably shouldn't do that too often. But here's the thing, I'm 26. I've been playing video games for 27 years. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep being fancy and no one's gonna tell me otherwise. And no matter how many versus projects I lose on the Colorful Channel because of it, I will never change my ways. The other day that it occurred to me that if I keep Let's Playing and doing videos for a while, eventually it's gonna get to the point where I've been less playing for so long that the channel itself would have graduated high school. Because, <laughs> like, I've been on... Because I've been doing Vados uh, for, like, 11 years by now, so... Assuming, of course, that the channel started, like, grade school or whatever, when they were six or something like that. Assuming that, it's somewhat safe to assume that 
the channel is finishing grade school. And that makes me feel low to think about. <laughs> like, I was 14 or whatever when I started making these videos. Like, I was just starting high school. And it's gonna get to the point pretty soon on the channel where the channel is gonna be starting high school. Luigi. Luigi. My man. We need to talk. Because... You're awesome and all, and I like Luigi's Balloon World, but my goodness, is it such a grind 100%! Alright, we'll go into this in more detail in a future video, but to put into perspective how long it takes to 100% Luigi's Balloon World, at the bare minimum, you need to find 800 balloons in total, and this doesn't take into account if you messed up on things like, uh, like, I don't know, if you messed up on getting them in a row or something like that, or just things like that in general. And there's also the fact that, I remember my first playthrough, I don't know why this took longer than getting 800 balloons, but I remember my first playthrough, it was a pain to get the earn it ranks. Because, like, I don't know if I was just not hiding them in good spots or anything like that, just not earning enough coins from them. But it was just a pain to do that. So... Yeah, I like Luigi's Balloon World. I stand by my opinion that it's probably one of the most fun post-game updates Nintendo's ever done for a Nintendo game. And something that I think I forgot to mention in the original video was that you don't even need Nintendo Switch Online to play it. It is an online multiplayer mode, but you don't need Switch Online to play it, which is really cool. So, yeah, all oh, that's fun, but it is such a grind 100%. <laughs> I give you an idea of what I've been doing whenever I'm playing through it. I've been binge watching Chuck Connor and Parton John's Sticker Star streams. I'm on the second one now, and I still haven't finished Luigi's Balloon World. But I do believe that is everything for now. It's time for the moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Yeah. Lunch in Kingdom 100%! Oh yeah! I'd like to take a quick moment to really soak in the Lunch in Kingdom one more time. This probably isn't going to be the last time we'll see this kingdom completely for this Let's Play, because there are a couple other things. There's also the fact that I'm going to be playing this mode a lot for Luigi's Bloom World. But just, I just love the Lunch in Kingdom. This was a great level to end off the Capito Trails track code and some Switch content with. And I remember that level being a pretty fun one to record in that, during that last play. And also, I want to point out something funny. Our current Power Moon count. <laughs> it's a sin I didn't bring that up earlier, but I just find it funny. But that's going to be it for this episode of Super Mario Odyssey. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. In the next episode, it's off to Bowser's Kingdom. And next time, Lady Gator to you. Oh, that's uh, Sector Mario a little bit more. Come on, let's do that. Be centered in the frame, Mario. Close enough. Thank you all for watching this video. Until next time, Lady Gator to you. Oh, yeah.